I want to wish Tony and the men's hockey team good luck up in Vancouver. Obviously, football's ramping it up this week, and, and a lot of other fall sports. So really want to wish everybody good luck in the beginning of their season. Uh, yeah, we're finishing up our preseason. Tonight will be our last exhibition game, last dress rehearsal for the guys. Uh, it's been a successful um, preseason so far. Some good competition within the group. Um, had a good game down in St. Louis. We played the professional team, Forward Madison, Wednesday night in a 60-minute scrimmage, and then obviously Loyola tonight. And then looking forward to getting after it next week and uh, having our fans have a chance to see this team play live in uh, opening competition. Questions? Todd? John, when you look at how close you were to making the tournament last year and you know how important do some of the non-conference games become at the start of the year and how much do you stress them as a point where you can make your case at, toward the end of the season great question todd and and it's something we've talked to the team quite a bit uh, even last spring you know as i say to them you know it sticks in our craw a little bit that we didn't get an invite i think ultimately when you see uh, the national champion be in maryland Michigan State in the Final Four, Indiana in the Final Four, and we'd beaten two of those teams. Unfortunately, uh, bubbled out. That happens. Um, I think in hindsight, the committee would probably say we should have been in. Um, and hopefully that drives our guys. Um, you know, we've had a slogan since last season of ready from day one. I think if you go back over the previous three years, if you would take from our non-conference schedule middle of September was we start to get into the Big Ten. We would solidly have been in the tournament if you took September 15th to, say, November 15th. Probably seated at least a home game or two. And unfortunately, we've been left out a couple times. So I think that mantra of ready from day one. Non-conference games, men's soccer are huge for the RPI. You can't just rely on the Big Ten Conference. You can't rely on winning the Big Ten Tournament to get the automatic bid. And I think our guys, I compliment them. You know, they came back early to get with our strength and conditioning coach this year, uh, get a little bit extra layer of fitness into them, get together, bond as a team. And so, you know, we're excited about that, that commitment, the culture, the program's in a good place, we feel. Brian? John, who are some of the young men that uh, we should be keeping an ear or eye open for this season? You know, we've got some, uh, got some kids that were recruited uh, highly last year, um, redshirted a few of them. Um, they're growing up. We have had a couple of injuries. Mitch Katar, who's a tremendous player, will be out this season. Alex Alfaro, who's been a starter, will be out this season. Uh, but we've got a lot of returners. We only lost one um, senior starter from last season. Um, so we've got a lot of experience and uh, we've got a couple new freshmen uh, that are battling for playing time and we expected that in Timmy Bialik, a young man out of Chicago, um, played internationally for the United States in his career and then Anaki Arabiran who's from Spain who looks like he'll probably be in the center of midfield for us. Some very good experience in that young man. Coach, you mentioned that the scrimmage you guys had with forward Madison FC. Have you noticed a kind of jump in the energy about soccer in this city since they've come to town? They had 4,500 fans at their game last night. Has it kind of added to your guys, you know, how much pride they take in representing Wisconsin in soccer? It's been fantastic. And, uh, you know, I know the owner, the owners or, or the group that's put that team together, the head coach, um, we're excited as soccer people. It's nice that the kids and, and soccer fans have that opportunity to go to Bree Stevens. It's a great environment for a game. We actually took our team there last night. We're trying to show them support, and we're hoping you know we can turn some of those Flamingo fans into uh, UW soccer fans. They obviously have a passion for the game of soccer and uh, appreciate the fact that they came over. We had played them in the spring. They came over for a scrimmage the other night. Um, and we can't replicate that speed of play. It is a professional team. I think people in Madison have realized that now. We wish them huge success. It was a big win by them last night. They needed the three points, so hopefully they'll get into the playoffs. And we think there's going to be a real nice relationship between our college program and that professional team. And 
maybe you're going to see some former Badgers here playing for them. We already have one in Carl Schneider uh, down the line. So it's exciting. Uh, no one knew what to expect with forward Madison, and they're kind of knocking it out of the park in all honesty. I, I don't think they thought they'd be averaging 4,500 uh, through every game of the season. So compliment to them and all the people that have worked hard for that, for that club. Brian. John, with the influx of new talent and uh, the returners, are you going to play any differently than you have in the past? No, I, you know, it's interesting. I was uh, saying to many people around the country, you know, probably the greatest thing about having a soccer program at this university, not only what you get to sell, but the ability to look across the sports and the success, what, what makes Badger football, Badger basketball, Badger hockey, Badger volleyball, va Badger cross country. Uh, the type of kids we recruit, the character of the individuals, but that Badger tough, Badger proud. I, I know Coach Olvarez from day one preached that, you know, teamwork, um, team spirit, a toughness. And I think we mimic a lot of the other sports here. Um, you know, do we have 19 youth All-Americans on our team? Maybe not. But we got a lot of kids who love to wear the Motion W and are bought into being the part of the culture, you know. We're not easy to score on. We've got enough flair to find results. But I think people would say, you know, we're, we're steady, we're solid. Um, and if we need to win in the fifth minute or we need to win in the 95th minute overtime, we've got the character of kids that can do that. And it's, uh, it's been a process. There's no question. We're very pleased to come off of three 10 win seasons. Uh, we don't want to dip in form. We don't think there'll be a dip in form. Um, but it, it, it is exciting to be able to compare yourself with kind of the legendary programs on this campus and say, I think we've got the hallmarks of a lot of those programs. We'll set a pick for each other. We'll, you know, we'll knock some guys off the line to get our running back to run through the hole. Um, it, it's no different in any sport. You, you got to have the right culture. You got to have the right discipline. You got to have the right toughness. And uh, we think we're well on our way.